guys, here we are. You're gonna love this. At least I hope you will. The house is done. It's all oiled. Rocket mass heater is done. Everything looks so nice and shiny. Well, okay, it's maybe not shiny, but all the colors pop now. I'm trying to get uh, everything on the camera here. So there's the kitchen. The uh, tall space there is where the fridge is going. I haven't taken that roll of paper towels out, but the convection oven goes up here. There'll be a microwave that hangs underneath this shelf right here. I have hot water now, so when I turn on the water, works like a charm. Bingo. And then shower is over here. Composting toilet is down there. I do have to uh, get a sawdust bin, and then there's going to be a curtain that hangs across this so that it doesn't rain shower water directly onto the woodwork down here. Although that's uh, spar urethane, so it probably would survive it, but I just don't want to uh, have to put up with that. Uh, I do have to build some little shelves in there, but really that's kind of part of moving in for me. And I want to put a towel rack over here. And there's going to be a paper towel uh, dispenser up there underneath the shelf. And all the trim work. Let me back up here so you can see the rail. And I got a new mattress. The, the bed is the only thing that's been moved in yet. So let's go up there. Stairs are all oiled. This wall is all oiled. So there we go. Now we're upstairs. You can see that. That will be the museum wall. I'll be hanging a uh, different antiques that I've collected over the years up there. So this is the new mattress. I just, like I said, I've, I, this is not going to be the uh, bed frame that's going to be up here, <clears throat> but it's a temporary one to get me through for uh, probably the first couple of months that I'm in here. Uh, we'll talk about more about that in a minute here. Uh, but the tiny house is built and it is cleaned up and ready to move into. So, that is probably what is going to happen next. I'm not doing videos about moving in. I'm sure all of you have moved before and it's really not all that exciting. However, the exciting part is, you'll note that in my tiny house there's not a whole lot of storage. There's like a shelf there and there's a shelf way up there, which is actually more for knickknacks or decorations. Uh, so let me explain. The next phase of the channel is going into building all the storage that goes into the tiny house. So there is a set of shelves that will be live edge that go up here and I'll be doing a video about building them. There is a desk, computer desk that goes into this corner. There'll be a video about that. There is a cabinet that hangs up here that will actually hide that box and the front of it, the door, is actually going to be the table for the room. So it's going to fold down, I guess, fold down this way and then be right in here. So there will be a, a, a kitchen table that will fold up out of the way when I don't need it. So I like that idea. And again, I mentioned that they're going to put some shelves in here. I do have to put, I'm kind of debating on whether to put a door on this or not. Uh, because the cats will get in there and this is like uh, this cubby is for like towels and stuff for the shower The cats will get in there and sleep on the towels and I'm not real fun of that. So <laughs> And then this over here There's a door that goes on it and it'll have a small opening at the bottom and the cat litter box will be back in there Got to take care of our animals folks. So and then of course, I'm going to be building a new bed frame So there will be a video on that uh, There will probably also be some little shelves added up there that will be uh, like floating type shelves and we'll do videos on that. But yeah, there is a, a whole plethora of videos coming up about creating stuff for the tiny house. Uh, and there's stuff that you could use in your house as well, I guess. So anyway, that is uh, 
That's the intention. Now, <clears throat> to be honest, I do not know how fast those videos will come out because I start chemo here in about a month. Uh, maybe a little less than a month. Well, we'll see. I find out uh, the 27th, the day before Thanksgiving, I have my next oncologist appointment, and uh, they will tell me then when I'm going to start chemo. I will try to keep you updated on that. So the videos may be slow for a while because I know that the chemotherapy is about four months long, and I'm not going to be in the greatest of health during that time uh, for a couple of weeks, and then I'll be in better health for a couple of weeks, and then I'll go back in for the next session, and yeah. It's going to be kind of a monster. But we'll get through that, and I'll bring the channel back up after that. But uh, I'll still be trying to get small videos done. There might be reverting to uh, more of the turning videos for a little bit. Uh, uh, I don't think I'm going to get to do much chainsaw carving because that takes a lot of energy, and I don't know how much energy I'll have. But uh, at least the tiny house is done, and I can come out here and like almost live. Uh, during chemo, I have to be uh, in a place with a flush toilet, so I'll be staying in the main house uh, during my sick times, and then when I'm feeling better, I'll be out here. But other than that, yeah. kind of sucks, though. I built a house, and I don't get to live in it <laughs> because I'm fighting cancer. Oh, well. So anyway, for all of you who have... Uh, not yet seen how this project went. It started in January of 2019 and has gone on and on and on. And finally, just, just under a year later, I have a tiny house built. It's kind of uh, makes you feel really good when you build something from the ground up and you end up with something that you can actually live with. This is uh, pretty awesome. I got to admit, I am... Uh, surprised myself with this one so anyway uh yeah i'm a happy guy so thanks for all of you that have uh, watched throughout this uh, series and like i said there is more to the series although it's not going to be building the tiny house itself and we'll be building the stuff to go in it like to hide this that is the only thing i don't like it's kind of ugly having a big electric panel right there so and I'm kind of excited about doing the computer desk. I'm going to swap out those outlets down there. You know, I can't find a three-way switch cover that covers the round outlets. So I'm going to put block outlets in there, and I have a three-way cover that will cover those. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't seen the playlist, uh, please go over to my channel and check out the playlist that starts this thing from the ground up. And you can see how I did it. All right? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.